don't forget your first love We were young and wild, we were up all night You don't forget that summer sun, 2009 We were feeling high And I got drunk for the first time Hello, my name is Karen Scott and welcome to The Dating Games. We have taken our show on location to the Kimaribi Mountains where our bachelor will find love here on The Dating Game Show. Our bachelor has five different women to choose from. All of our dating prospects will vacation here in the mountains while they get to know each other. Our bachelor will go on two dates with each of the five women. Our bachelor will invite each woman one by one on a date by sending them a beautiful vase of flowers the night before. The red vase represents a casual date. The white vase represents a mystery date. The black vase represents an overnight stay with a woman of his choice, but he has to choose carefully because he only gets one chance at love with this one. So now let's take a look at our dating prospects. We have Mr. Nathaniel Corbin who is a domestic romantic vegetarian with a creative side. He aspires to have a big happy family. Next we have Brandy Gates who is a neighborhood confidant. She is self-assured, outgoing, and cheerful. Next we have Chanel Larson who is a freelance botanist. She is active and cheerful. She loves to collect rare items and she has a creative side. She does not like DJ booth music and she loves world music. Next up is Lily Adams. She's looking for a soulmate. She is a vegetarian who is a good person, loves wellness, has more than enough handiness experience, and loves media production. Next up we have Scorpio Valentine. She is also looking for a soulmate. She is alluring, family oriented, a romantic, and has a slight jealous side. She's looking for the man of her dreams. Next, we have Miss Addison Frost. She is a friend of animals. She's a good person, a cat lover and dog lover, and she loves animal affection. So without further ado, it is now time to meet everyone in person. Come on out, Nathaniel. Hello, and thank you for having me. Thank you. So you're here, Nathaniel, on the dating game show, looking for love. Tell me, what are your expectations? So what is the most important quality you're looking for, Nathaniel? I'm looking for a woman that's dedicated and faithful. I need that. Simply put, he's definitely looking for someone that is faithful. All right, Nathaniel, we're going to have you leave the stage, and now we're going to bring out the dating prospects. All five women, come on out, ladies. Wow, he surely seems like a man that knows what he wants. <laughs> Come on out, ladies. And here comes the ladies. We have the beautiful Addison, our pet lover. We have Miss Chanel. We have Brandy. We have the beautiful Scorpio and the beautiful Lily. Come on out, everyone. Beautiful ladies. Wow, I'm so excited. I cannot believe that I'm here. I was in such a hurry to get on the plane I forgot to take the garbage out at home <laughs> but I'm excited I too left a bunch of things behind as well as I was on my way to go to the airport I'm so excited to be here to meet my future husband <sighs> and we are very happy that you all are here Chanel tell me a little bit about you well I actually got the call at the last minute um they were looking for me to come on the show i almost didn't come on the show because i had a bunch of things that i had to do you know my job is a little demanding but i still made it i'm happy i'm here 
Well, I am so glad that you was able to make it, Chanel. There would absolutely not be a show without you, ladies. So thank you all for coming. We're going to switch gears. It's time for the date. Our bachelor has chosen his date for this evening. So I'm going to have the ladies leave, go to the main house so they can find out who he picked. Good luck, ladies. So it looks like our bachelor has made his choice. His first date for tonight will be Addison. They're going to go to one of the local pubs in Mount Kimaribi. And so let's look in and see how his date went. Thank you for going out on this date with me, beautiful. You look gorgeous. Very sexy. You got that natural beauty going on. I love it. I'll meet you inside, sweetheart. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Whew, that is so refreshing. I hope you don't mind, but I went on ahead and ordered us some drinks. Thank you so much, Nathan. Thank you for doing that. That was really sweet. No problem. Anything for you, beautiful.
It's okay. It's okay, Addison. It could have happened to anybody. It's all right. Check it off. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, baby, it could have happened to anybody. I mean, it happened to me just the other day. I was coming out of the grocery store, and I didn't even have enough time to run all the way to the back. So I ended up peeing on myself. It's all right, baby. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. And since I was going home anyway, I just peed on the ground, and I just went on home. Shit, what else was I supposed to do? <laughs> I almost turned around and came up here to the bar and got me a damn beer. <laughs> well, that was much more than I needed to know. But thank you for being supportive. Addison, I see you over here looking embarrassed and everything. Everything is fine, sweetie. You're beautiful. Everything is fine. I really enjoyed you tonight. May I have a hug? So it looks like even with Addison's little accident, the date turned out to be a success. So on the next show, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one with Addison telling us how she felt the date went. And we'll have a look into our bachelor's next date, who he picked, and how everything went. So we'll see you next time on The Dating Game Show. Bye.